In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the coolest looking airplanes in the sky today, and they're called canards. Now, if you look at your typical airplane, you'll see that the main wing and the engine is located up front and the stabilizers are in the back. Now, let's say you move the stabilizers up front and the main wing and the engine towards the back, then you have a very basic idea of what a canard looks like. And canards have some pretty unique flying characteristics as they don't stall like a normal airplane would. So in this video, we're going to be talking about 10 of the greatest canard designs with a focus on general aviation airplanes and i will admit it was pretty hard to narrow it down to just 10. so let's take a look at these unique aircraft one of the first canards to have been made popular is the Rutan Very Easy. The Very Easy was designed as a home-built airplane and first flew in 1975. Designed by the legendary Burt Rutan, the Very Easy features two-seat tandem seating and can be built with engines between 75 and 100 horsepower. The Very Easy flies between 165 to 185 miles per hour and it quickly became known for its speed, range, composite construction, and sci-fi looks. It also became a record breaker when Burt Rutan flew it over 1,600 miles non-stop to the Oshkosh Air Show. The plans to build the Very Easy sold extremely well, and it introduced building composite airplanes to an average skilled builder. The Very Easy truly changed the game for the experimental home-built market. After the success of the Very Easy, Burt Rutan set out to further improve the design with the Long Easy. Although it shares many features of the Very Easy, the Long Easy was a brand new design that was first flown in 1979. The wings and fuselage were larger, allowing for more fuel, more cargo space, and larger engine options. The Long Easy can be built with engines between 115 to 180 horsepower, which propel the airplane to speeds upwards of 200 miles per hour. But what really sets the Long Easy apart Part is its incredible range. Many Long Easy owners install long range fuel tanks and cargo pods and can fly their airplane 10 hours non stop. For many years, the Long Easy was the most popular home built airplane in the skies, and it'll remain one of the most successful home built airplanes flying today. <laughs> Number 3 is an airplane that was inspired by Burt Rutan's Very Easy. The German-built Gyroflug Speed Canard is a tandem seat airplane that was first flown in 1980. It also became the first composite canard to be certified anywhere in the world. It has a 160 horsepower engine, top speed of 183 miles per hour, and a range of up to 1,000 miles. Its canopy and fuselage are similar to that of a sailplane, and its design was actually taken from the Grobe Twin Astir glider. It was produced from 1983 to 1995 and a total of about 62 were built. <laughs> While the Long Easy is already a great airplane, designer Dave Ronberg thought it could use some upgrades. The airplane he came up with became known as the Barracoot. Unlike the Long Easy, the Barracoot has a retractable landing gear, a main wing spar, and dual canopies. It has structural reinforcements which allow the airplane to use engines of up to 260 horsepower. Its cruise speed is 245 miles per hour and has a range of just over 1,000 miles. With the 260 horsepower, like homing 5 40, some have reported speeds of almost 300 miles per hour. Only 31 were built, and it'll go down in history as one of the fastest experimental canards in the skies. Number 5 is a canard that looks like it was inspired by the Star Wars X-Wing. The Rutan Quickie is a composite, home-built, single-seat tail dragger. Although this wing setup is known as a tandem wing, the aerodynamics and control surfaces work exactly like the canards previously mentioned. Its main landing gear wheels are located at the tips of the forward wing, thus making it a sleek design without the need of a retractable landing gear. The most impressive aspect of the Quickie is that it can fly up to 126 miles per hour with an engine that only produces 18 horsepower. The Quickie kits were produced from 1978 to the mid-1980s and over 350 were built. Used Quickies can still be found for sale and are usually well under $10,000.
Now that you've made it this far, I want to take a brief moment to tell you about the brand new Florida Flying Online Store. It has a bunch of fun t-shirt designs with all of my favorite airplanes, including some in this video. Buying a shirt or any type of merch is a great way to support the channel and look cool while you're at it. I also add designs to it and run sales pretty often, so be sure to check out the store linked below. Alrighty, back to it. If you wanted to make a Quickie even better, you'd add another seat. The Quickie Q2 and Q200 is the two-seat variant of the Rutan Quickie. The Q2 was designed by the Quickie Aircraft Corporation and first flew in 1980. The early models used Volkswagen-derived engines, which produced between 65 to 80 horsepower. Later, some reinforcements were added to the forward canard, and the Quickie could be equipped with a 100-horsepower Continental engine. The Q2 and Q200 can be a challenge to land as they have a tendency to float in ground effect, and without a horizontal stabilizer, the tail wheel can be pretty difficult to plant on the ground. Some models known as the Tri-Q used a tricycle landing gear to help with the challenging landings. The Q200 has a top speed of up to 180 miles per hour with a range of around 500 miles. Over 2,000 kits were sold before production ended, and many are still flying today. Maybe one of the nicest looking canards of all time is the Velocity. The Velocity is a four-seat, home-built experimental airplane that is known for its comfort, speed, efficiency, and airframe strength. Built out of composite materials, the Velocity can use engines between 260 and 310 horsepower. It can either be built with a fixed or retractable landing gear, and it sees cruise speeds between 170 and 250 knots. Its airframe is incredibly strong, and it has a design load factor of positive 9 and negative 7 G's. The Velocity Company is also one of the few canard manufacturers that are still in production today, with kit prices starting at $40,000 without the engine. If we're going to talk about Velocity aircraft, it's only fair that we mention their flagship model, the Velocity V-Twin. The V-Twin is a twin-engine pusher canard designed to be one of the safest twin-engine airplanes in the market today. It brings the reliability of a twin-engine without the dangerous stall-spin characteristics. The engines are also mounted pretty close to one another, which gives the V-Twin great rudder authority in the event of an engine failure. Like Velocity's other models, the V-Twin is an experimental home-built airplane and can use engines between 160 and 190 horsepower, which give it a cruise speed between 185 and 205 knots. Its range is up to 1400 miles, making it a safe, fast, and efficient IFR platform. The kit is available right now, and the base price is listed at 116000 without the engines. <laughs> While we're on the subject of twin-engine canards, one of the most unusual canards out there is the Rutan Defiant. The Defiant is a twin-engine, centerline thrust, composite home-built airplane which first flew in 1986. Like the V-Twin, the Defiant was designed with safety in mind. If an engine fails, the Defiant can still climb while the pilot doesn't have to worry about the dangerous yaw effects. The designer, Burt Rutan, implemented some odd features worth noting. While it has two large winglets, the rudder is is actually located up front near the pilot's feet. This was done so that the control cables didn't have to have a complicated routing at the wingtips. It's also fixed gear, has fixed pitch propellers, and each engine has its own ignition key. It has two 160 horsepower engines, cruises around 165 knots, and has a range between 800 to 1100 miles. It's also pretty rare, and only around 20 models are flying today. Number 10 is a canard that doesn't require a pilot's license to fly, well, at least in the United States. The Falcon UL is an ultralight which falls under the Part 103 regulations. Its fuselage is built out of composite materials, and its wings are strut-braced aluminum covered in a Tedlar clear fabric. Like the other canards in this list, the Falcon doesn't stall like a conventional airplane. It's also an excellent flyer and has a 14 to 1 glide ratio. With its 27 horsepower Rotax engine, it cruises around 50 
55 miles per hour and can take off and land in under 500 feet. It also held a record for highest altitude flown in an ultralight at over 26,000 feet. And here's a little fun fact. My brother's friend actually found one of these for free on Craigslist and he flew it around for years. <sighs> Now I know what you're gonna say. Why didn't you include the Avanti? Well, the Avanti isn't a pure canard as the front canard is actually considered its second wing. And there are so many other great canards out there that didn't quite make the list. So as I say goodbye, remember to like and subscribe and enjoy these last few honorable mentions.